So that's how I can control my evaluation group. So we will rename this evaluation groups at some point, you know, as we move on. Change the keywords in the evaluation group. So this is the one we just talked about. Okay. Evaluation group one was, let's say, type asset type asset type so if I say this now and I will rename it for Okay. Hey, where is my transport? Okay, so this is the workbench request. So I'll create new FA config workbench number two. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing for my evaluation two. category asset category asset category no workbench okay so I don't want to see everything. So now if I go to my asset screen, same screen A01. Okay, and then if I go to allocations, and there is the magic. So now evaluation group one is now coming as asset type, asset category. So these are, you know, the custom field, which you can say extra field, which SAP has given. Any customer can use those fields for your own purpose, for the purpose and there is no requirement of customization. And the intent is, you know, if you talk about vendor master data or customer master data, those are very, those does not have any financial implication of the master data. But asset master data is something, you know, it's one of the key financial master data and it impacts financials. For example, the date impact financials, you need to physically trace what is the address. You need to have a lot of categories like AUC, like drop, like like intangibles, like leased assets, like normal assets. So there are so many categories depending on the, you know, the requirement of the customer. So there are additional fields given which customer can use for their own pur int purposes. Of course, customization is always in available, but still SAP gives flexibility to use few fields from the standard one. Okay define reason for investment so this is for investment management enter your user field in asset class okay so, okay, so this is something you can default anything. So you can tell that for this asset class, these field will be by default. So I want to do that, but why it is not allowing me to change it. So I can default these fields. But the point is this is Okay, so it is, there is some problem, 
see this is coming in it says enter your user field but it does not allow me to change anything I need to default something here. So this is for the purpose, you know, you can default some field based on asset class. So you can say whenever this is, this is asset class is there, always default this field. So that is the purpose. But somehow it is not working at this point. Probably it's a bug or something. enhancements so the option available is def develop enhancement for user field in asset master record so in this step you define your own field with the help of enhancement project you can add this field to the asset master record you can include this user field in asset report reports in asset accounting enhancement project function on the basis of certain position in standard SAP programming code therefore it is possible to implement enhancement project in only if you have a knowledge of a web language you should review this you need carefully generally you should not use enhancement projects since all common requirement are already met so this is something you know you can enhance any screen Let me see what options it give me. Okay, so I'm just trying to explore this. I think it talks about some enhancements. Let's use this. I'm just exploring. Change. Create a structure in the web dictionary and define the fields. Okay, so I'm just trying to read this. Ok, 
okay so create structure in a bab dictionary and it will be stored in anlu So I'm just trying to to be a technical person, okay? So it's still working. customer site something is added okay couldn't work that's okay so this is done user fields are done let me just check okay next is display cost center check across company codes so with this our system will do is system will allow the cost center set this indicator if you want account assignment of cost accounting depreciation and input into cost center that do not have same company code so it allows you to you know put the cost center of different company code in the say in one company code for example if the company code is 1000 then you can put the cost center of 2000 company code so that what it can do but we will not allow this because it have further implications this is not recommended option but some companies do this define asset help search asset search help this is something technical in this processing step you can revise or redefine existing match code for assets okay so a is asset c is cost center m is investment order so if you want to change these match code that is the option but again this has further implication because if you change something there are you know inventory and all those things will get impacted
टाइम डिपेंडेंट मैनेजमेंट और यूनिट If you set this indicator, system manages the org unit, business area, and cost center, and thereby profit center as not time dependent in the master record in the company code. Any change in unit, any change to these org unit during master data maintenance, then automatically generates transfer posting document. You see, so what happen is if you set this indicator, system manages the org unit as not time dependent in master record. So the the moment you click it, system will understand that you don't want to maintain a time dependent, and then when you change the cost center and the further profit center, system will generate the accounting of the moment. If the profit center is changing and you have a profit center reporting active, system will generate an accounting document. If this indicator is not set, you have to you have to create a new asset master record and manually retire. transfer the entire asset when business area changes so if you this is not set then there is no accounting only system will maintain the history from 1st january till 28th february cost center a from 1st march till 30th june cost center b from 1st july till today whatever date is cost center 3 but if you set this system will generate an accounting if you set this indicator and then change org unit in asset master maintenance system replaces the business area and all existing time interval by new assignment after this it is no longer possible to report these org units in the past period so system changes everything the moment you change it so this is the magical button so it depends you know on the business requirement sometime company says we don't want accounting sometime company says we want accounting that's why this option is available so next we will come to validation and substitutions